Okay, so we're going to talk about solving complex equations, more of the theory behind it so that we understand why it always works, okay? Um, what does every equation have in common? An equal sign. What? An equal sign. Every equation has an equal sign? Yes. Uh -huh. If it doesn't have an equal sign, what is it called? It is called an it's called an expression. Yes. A mathematical expression. Yes. I am not talking about mathematical expressions today. I am talking about equations. And equations always have an equal sign. Alright, what does an equal sign mean? It's the answer to a problem. Okay, it means the answer to a problem. What were you going to say, Graham? Uh, two things are similar. Two things are similar. The same. The same. The, oh, the, okay, those, those are two different comments. Two things are similar or two things are the same. Which one? The, the same. same. The same. Alright, so that's good. Okay, Victoria? Equivalent. Equivalent. What does equivalent mean? Right. What what does equivalent have inside it? The term. Equal. An equal sign, right? Equivalent, equi right? They're equivalent. What does it mean that both things are identical? They're exactly the same thing. Do they weigh the same amount? Yeah. If they're identical, they have to. Do they do they have the same I don't know. That's okay. Whatever. We'll just go with weight. We'll just go with weight. I don't know. Okay. So, okay. So, let's look at this for a second. This is a balance scale, right? Now, a balance scale, do you see an equal sign on this thing? Yeah. Yes. All right. What does that mean in relation to a balance scale? Okay. No. No, go ahead. What does it mean? Yes, you do. You know it better than anybody. I'm sure of it. But seriously, what is... What does an equal sign mean in relation to balance scale? Mm, yeah, well, mm, S. S. What? Pa oh, you said pass. I thought you said S. Okay. I know. I was thinking S. I was like. That's an interesting. No, you said pass. That's fine. I know you know the answer, but yes. Um, for wait, wait, here. Question. What is an equal sign? Why would I write an equal sign on a balance scale? Um, well. Okay. So All right. How about Thorn? Not making copies. So that if, because um, you put two things on both sides, and if they like equal out to be the same um, weight, then they'll Yeah. So because I have two massive biceps, right? Oh and they are exactly the same size, it's totally balanced, right? Right? Yeah. I get these massive biceps by not exercising every single day. <laughs> right? All right. And so, but yes, as long as the weight is exactly the same on both sides, they, the, the weights have to be identical, right? Absolutely identical. If they're not, if, if I worked out my right arm a little more than my left, what would happen? Wouldn't, it would be out of balance, right? It wouldn't be identical anymore, right? It would be a mess, right? Okay, so we are going to start looking at problems using this um, scale for a second. And I guess I just need to pour these things out. Ah. Okay. All right, so you're going to see... Sorry. You are going to see how this... This is really cool, by the way. I love this thing. This thing is so cool. All right, what is this? A house. A thing, exactly. When you don't know what a thing is, what would you call it? An X in algebra, right? This is my X, okay? Is that clear? I do not know what number this is, but it is a number. It's just, it's an X, it's an X, a variable that represents a number that I don't know what it is, right? But it is a number, right? And it works just like numbers, okay? So if I said this, if I said this, x equals 4, right? Pretty straightforward. x equals 4. Now, what is x? 
four. Well, how do you know that? Because it says x four. equals four. Yeah. It says x equals four, because but how do you know it's four? It's equivalent or the same as four. Yeah. Right. Now, how would it, like, if it was like this, would it be four? No. No. It would mean this is actually less than four, right? Yeah. If it was like this, it would mean this is more than four, right? Yeah. Right? But as long as it's totally balanced, this is exactly the same as this, right? Totally the same. All right. So we just figured out x equals 4. Okay. So now if I add 5 to this side, it should stay in balance, right? Oh, shoot. That did not work. I don't know what happened. What happened? What am I supposed to do? Let's see. We had, we had 4 here, and we have... Okay. Um, that, that was weird. Maybe if I put it closer over here, I'll put it over here. Let's see what happens. Oh my gosh, that did not work. What's wrong? Why is this not working? Can somebody explain to me why this is not working? Well, wait, what do I have to do to make this work? If I'm adding five to this side, what do I have to do this side? I have to add five. Okay, so let's try it. Okay, now hold on. Don't breathe. Don't breathe. Oh my gosh! It's still balanced! It worked! So let's just think about this for a second. What did we just do? We started with x equals 4. Would you agree with me? Yeah. And what did we just add to both sides? 5. 5. So we added 5 to this side, and we added 5 to this side. So we have now x plus 5. You agree with me? Equals 9. Right? Yes. Oh, so we're making it... Uh, ultimately, our, our equation, we're trying to get it down to here, x equals, right? So, but that's really cool. So we could add anything to both sides. As long as we do the same thing to both sides, it'll always stay balanced. If I add a 10 and a 10, uh, I don't have another 10. Oh, yes, I do. If I add a 10 and a 10, right, it'll stay balanced. Watch. Yes, it's balanced, right? This is so cool. Now look, I don't think I need this four anymore. I could take that four off. Right? Oh my gosh, what happened? What happened? As soon as, as, soon as I, this is great. This is a great video right now. Um, as soon as I took the four off one side and I didn't take it off the other side, what happened? It failed. It failed. It no longer was in balance, right? Now, we are gonna do what are considered really hard problems. And you're gonna realize, oh my God, these are so simple. So I'm gonna actually write a problem up here on the board. And we are going to solve it. So we're gonna say 5x plus 8 is equal to, well, let's see, maybe not 8. Ah, let's see, eight. sorry, oh. I'm sorry, I'm gonna do 3. 5x plus 3 is equal to 3x plus 8. We'll put the 8 over there. Okay. And I want to know the answer to that. So I'm going to actually put this up, up on the board. So it says how many, I have many x's do I have over here? Five. Five of them. So that means x plus x plus x plus x plus x. You guys agree with me? That's five x's, right? Okay, and then I've got, th oh, I've got a three on that side. I've got to get a three. Plus a three. You guys agree with me? Yes? Okay, on this side, on this side, by the way, I have this tightened right now so that it doesn't tip over, right? I've got it tightened, then I'm going to loosen it again, right? Okay, you know? Right? Sure, right? Yeah that's, yeah, that's me. Okay, and so now I'm going to put my, I've got three X's on this side, plus what? Plus eight. Plus eight. So I'm going to put that. Okay, now I'm going to loosen it. Oh my gosh, it's totally balanced. That is amazing. Now, I, my goal with this is to get rid of things and simplify, right? I want to simplify this without affecting its balance, right? So would you agree with me that I have at least one x on this side and one x on this side? Yeah. So I could take an x off both sides, right? Yeah. All right, let's try that. All right, you guys ready? Ready? Uh -huh. Listen, you're going to miss this. You don't want to miss this. It's so exciting. Gabe, watch. Okay. Right. All right. This is so exciting. Watch. I'm going to take one off from both sides. Oh, my gosh. And it stays totally, totally balanced. Where's my... Okay. 
So I am gonna I just subtracted an x. Would you agree with me? I took away one x from both sides. Yes. Did I simplify the problem a little bit? Yeah. All right. So what did that give me now? I should have now four x's plus three is equal to two x's plus eight. Is that what I have? No. Four x's plus three. Four x. Oops. Sorry. I wrote I wrote I said four and I wrote five. Sorry. Four x's plus three equals 2x's plus 8. Oh, wow, I simplified it, but I'm not done yet because I notice that I still have an x over here and an x over here. I could remove an x again, right? Yeah. So here we go. Oh my gosh, it's still in balance. This is a miracle. So really what I did is I just took another way away another x, right? And that gave me, now I have 3x's plus 3 is equal to x plus 8. Is that true? Is that what I got here? 3x's mm -hmm. plus 3 is equal to x plus 8. Okay. So, but I can keep going. Look, I have still an x on both sides. I could remove an x. Okay, here we go. Oh my well, god, it's still in balance. This is a miracle. This is a miracle. Okay, so I just took away another x. I keep losing my pen. I took away another x. Subtract 1x. Whoops. So that gives me 2x's plus 3 is only equal to 8. Whoa. Is that right? 2x's plus 3 is equal to 8. Look at that. That's intriguing. All right. So if that's the case, what would I want to do? I would like to. Uh, yeah. So, Graham, what would I do? I want to get rid of the 3. So I am going to take, oh, but I can't take away an 8. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it, I'm going to exchange my 8 for th 5 plus 3. Is that okay? Isn't that the same thing? Is that okay? So I'm going to get rid of that. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I should have done that fast. Faster. Okay, so we, it moved right now. It's perfect to balance it. Okay, so we're going to get rid of our 3s now. Oh my gosh, it's still in balance. So I have 2x's equals 5. Let's see if that really still works. If I subtract a 3 from both sides, subtract a 3, I have 2x is equal to 5. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. So what does this, what does my x's, what do my x's have to equal for them to equal 5? Victoria. Right. 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 Half of 5 would be that, right? So, okay. Now, could we have done this faster? Yes. Yeah. So look what we did. We subtracted an x from both sides. That's one x. We subtracted an x from both sides. That's two x's. We subtracted an x from both sides. That's three x's. We subtracted three x's from both sides. Why don't we do it all at the same time, right? So let's try it again. So we've got five x's, right? We've got five x's. And then three x's, one, two, three. This was, I forgot what it was. Eight. Plus three. Three and eight, right? Where's my eight? There it is, three. And then we have one more x over here, right? Is that it? Did I do it right? Five x plus three, three x plus eight. Okay, so as long as I do the same thing to both sides, I could do them together. Now, would you agree with me to take, to take away five x's would not be very easy to do on both sides, right? Do you see why? Then I'd have a negative x's on this side, right? I don't want to deal with that right now. I'd rather just keep it positive. So I'm going to take, I'm going to look at the three. I have five x's here. I have three x's here. I'm going to take the three x's away from both of them, right? So I'm going to take three away, but I got to do it exactly at the same time. Otherwise, it's going to topple over. Watch. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Don't breathe, guys. Oh, it worked. Okay, sorry. I'm sorry. I get really excited. Sorry. sorry. All right. So, so it worked. So now I'm going to take away. Okay, I'm going to take away. So you guys know, you get the idea, right? You get the idea. So then we're going to take away the 3, right? And then it's 2.5. Okay, let's try another one. Do we have time? No, no, no. It's 10.04. We have negative 4. Oh, yeah, we're we there. Don't have time. We're there. So, so, basically, so basically, when you have x's on two sides of the equal sign, the first thing is get those x's all over to one side, right? Subtract them or add them so that you end up having only x's on one side. And then you keep simplifying until suddenly you just have something really, really simple. The cool thing about this is I could take third graders and I could teach them algebra 
using the scale. It is that simple. It is that simple. Because it makes so much sense. Oh, you just got to do the same thing on both sides. That is what this whole thing is all about. Okay, so I'm going to turn this off. And